Divas and Divos, it's your girl April, so today's video is going to be something easy. You know I really don't do too many half wigs, but I have been trying to incorporate them as much as possible. This one is available at sisterwigs.com and the name of this is actually by Model Model. And this is supposed to be a drawstring full cap. So the first thing I'm trying to figure out for the longest, not today, not last week, but for like many, many years, why do they call these half wigs a full cap? Like, if you were to wear this half wig on your full head, you would look just like ridiculous, crazy. So I don't really think that they're full caps. A full cap wig to me is something that covers your entire head. These are basically half wigs. They call them drawstring full caps. You really can't wear this as a full wig. You, the most that you're going to be able to wear is probably like right up here, like. You know, and then you're going to have to pull out your hair because the front is designed to, you know, actually not be worn as a full cap. So anyway, this one is Paloma. And like I was saying, she's available at sisterwigs.com. The color that I got is a number two. She is really long, but you can wear her as a full cap like they would say or a half wig. Or I want to say these are more or less like um, they're not half wigs because a half wig would be like half of a wig would probably be like half on your head like right I would think like that would be half of a wig and it's more than three quarters of a wig so I'll probably call it like 95 percent wig or like a 95 wig a 95 wig um a 90 wig that's what we would call like a 90 wig so that's the new that's the new thing I got a 90 wig on or I got a 95 wig on. I, I would more or less say like 90 wig I know I'm just like taking this to the extreme but I'm just saying you know what I'm saying like I, you know, I always like to voice my opinions, okay? So, you know, it is what it is. What's cool, if you don't want to wear it as a 90 wig, you can wear it as a drawstring ponytail. I don't really have, like, the need to wear these as drawstring ponytails. I don't really like to wear the half wigs as drawstring ponytails because the caps are so big, you know what I mean? The caps are so roomy inside that you got, like, all of this bunched up. So I really don't wear them as ponytails though I may have maybe once or twice maybe not even but I don't really think that they're like so universal as you could wear it as a drawstring ponytail because for one if you see this this cap is supposed to fit on 90% of your head and now if you were to put it back here you got all of this bunched up like all of this material like so where's it going you know what I'm saying? Like, where is it going? The one thing that I do like about this one here is it has, like, these combs, the metal tooth comb band. Now, you guys know the other 90 wigs or half wigs. Their combs are the big plastic ones, and those things are so much more bulkier that you really have to, like, camouflage your wig so the front is not as flat as can be. Now, this still isn't really that flat. I have seen some that are really, really flat here. Um, and I do like the fact that it does have the combs in the nape, and then the drawstring is more or less right here on the outer side so when you are putting this on make sure that your string is not hanging but with this amount of hair I'm pretty sure that you're not going to worry about having to worry about seeing any string so like I was saying it's long but I like the texture of it it's very full and the texture is not so silky like you know how you have some of those that's like really silky it's like oh my god girl it's so silky that it's shiny and it tangles really bad I don't really care for those because they just tangle really bad even with the curly ones but I like the ones that are kind of like dry looking and dull looking because you have a better chance of it lasting much longer and then I also have my Boldify, which is kind of like Topic Hair Filler Fibers. You guys know I've been using that for quite some time. It's great if you have thin edges like myself right here. You know, I just spruce on a little bit. And I go lightly with it. You know, I'm filling in all those little gaps and stuff in my hair. And it looks just like tiny little hair fibers. Um starts to look like dirt sometimes to me too and when I say that I don't mean that in like a bad way like dirt like in a bad way but I mean like you could brush it out if you put too much on I normally set it with like um, some hairspray or whatever but I always say go lightly in the front because nobody's hairline is so thick in the front like I said it's just like Topic except for Topic is half the size and double the price um, and Topic does sell these um, spray nozzles separately this spray nozzle is definitely not from Boldify so you know I'm gonna get into this video because I know I have been chatting for quite some time now and so let's get into this okay
First of all, I know I be always complaining about, oh, I needed to be CC friendly, you know, cool and cute. And I know y'all like, it's October, girl, you should be cool. No, okay? It was 96 degrees yesterday. I was about to die, and my room always stays hot. Like, seriously, I have on the ceiling fan, the AC, the oscillating stand-up fan. I got a little fan on my desk. Let me tell y'all, I'll be hot in here. But I will be honest and tell you, the lion's mane, because that's what this look looked like before I did a, a, a half up, half down. It is really cute, but it's a lot of hair. So if you are not into all this hair, girl, skip and just go straight to go. Like, this is not for you if you don't like a lot of hair. But if you're looking for something like this, that you could do something like this with, because I think this looks really, really cute like this, then definitely check it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I still think it's a lot of hair, even like this, but it still is rather cute you know what I'm saying like it still is acceptable but I would never wear this down like the girl in the picture she's like rocking the heck out of this wig down like she knows she a lie she knows she a lie she ain't even got the same wig on she lying like mm, she probably standing still she didn't even have to style it herself she had somebody style it for her so she didn't even get hot, you know, she just sat in the chair with the fan blowing on her. Unlike me, I got the fan blowing on me and I'm still hot because I have the stylus. Girl, you just don't understand. So, this one, Paloma, is really cute though. I will say this, it's really cute, but the color number two still is a little bit dark for my hair. Number two is a dark brown. I don't really know, but my hair is still a little bit lighter. It really reminds me of like a color 1B, to be honest. It does not look like a color number two. But either way, it's cute. It's acceptable. It's fun. I think it's really fun, especially if you're doing like different styles with it. It's definitely fun. Um, and like I said, it's a 90 wig. So it is available at sisterwigs.com. If you register and log in, you can definitely use my code MUFFIN, which is all capitals, no S. It's just MUFFIN, just MUFFIN. Okay, all caps on the website. So definitely use the code for 10% off. So yes, you guys, I love you all. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up because you know you love me and I'm dying to heat right now. And I'll see you all in a soon to come video.